Hi, everyone. Welcome to September 2020's Public Lab Open Hour. We're here welcoming and celebrating Outreachy Fellows and Google Summer of Code Fellows for completing a fabulous coding season. It's Monday, September 14th. Um, I am recording this call, so if you wish to turn off your video at any time, please do go ahead. Um, we're going to be hearing from um, up to seven students presenting their projects. Um, Outreachy fellows have been working from May 19th to August 18th this year. Google Summer of Code fellows have been working from June the 1st to August 31st. And I just want to really center the fact that code programs are a vital part of the health of Public Lab's wedding web and coding community and we really treasure the collaborative relationships that we develop each year through this work this year has been especially challenging considering the pandemic context we've had ourselves our families and some fellows here themselves be directly and indirectly affected by covid and in this context the work that has been completed which would be of the highest quality in any regular summer, it shines even more brightly now. Um, so let's go into a round of introductions. Um, I'm gonna be calling people by order in the chat. And what I'm gonna ask you to share on your turn is, and I'll put it in chat as well, is your name um, your pronouns, where you're calling in from, your role in the code community, either here in public lab or more broadly, and then something you've been doing to keep your spirits up during quarantine. And um, I'll kick us off. Um, so yeah, hi everyone. I've already been talking, but my name is Liz Barry. I'm a longtime member of public lab. I'm on staff. I've been doing some support for the web and coding programs um, and the fellowships that have been running this summer. I use she, her pronouns. Um, hello from Brooklyn, New York. And something I've been doing to keep my spirits up during quarantine is, um, is learning some pixel art and also kind of obsessively cleaning my house since I'm in here all the time. And I'm gonna say check. Check is a good thing to say to know the next person is up. So um, I'd love to pass it off to Sneha. Over to you. Hi, everyone. I'm Sneha, and I'm speaking from Mumbai, India. And uh, my experience with Public Lab is just uh, I've been working here uh, in the summer as an outreach fellow. And my pronouns are she and her. And uh, something that I've been doing to keep up my spirits during the quarantine is just singing. I love singing and uh, reading books. So yeah, check. Moving on to Sagarpreet. Hi everyone, my name is Sagarpreet and I live in New Delhi, India. And my pronouns are he and his. And uh, I am a mentor uh, for this, the 2020 program and I had been a GSOC intern as well three years back since then I have been contributing to public lab. And during quarantine, I try to exercise. I skip mostly, but I try to do exercise to keep my spirits up. Thank you and over to Jeff. Hey, um, I'm Jeff. I'm calling in from the US, from Rhode Island. Um, and I go by he, him, his. Um, and uh, I'm a code community coordinator uh, and I've been mentoring a lot of you um, and really happy to see you all here. Um, I, um, I guess to keep my spirits up, I've been um, trying to grow plants in my window um, as hard as I can. And after six months of hard work, I have one, one tomato that is less than a centimeter wide. That's, that's how far I've gotten. Check. 
that's great sir jeff my name is siddharth panchan i am from delhi india preferred pronouns are he him uh, i have been a co code mentor at public lab since two and a half years i was a mentor for gci and outreach and also for google summer of code uh, i have been working at other reposit at spectral workbench mapnetter and plots repository and i do some zumba and yoga exercises at home to keep up my spirits during this quarantine check Hi. Oh, hello. I haven't spoken out loud today. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily Ashley calling in from New Orleans. Um, my pronouns are she, her. Um, with Public Lab, I worked with them at the start of the year and helped scope some of the um, For my spirits up during quarantine, I've been learning how to make candles and I've also been gardening. Um, but I just had to pull in all of my plants because we have a hurricane coming tomorrow. <laughs> Check. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Sas. I'm calling from Nairobi, Kenya. My pronouns are Sas. Sarah. I can't. We can't hear you. Can anyone hear Sas talking? Yes, yeah, she's very quiet. Maybe you could yell at us a little bit, Sas. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I'm Sas. I'm calling from Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, my pronouns are Sheha. I'm a code coordinator and code community coordinator and also was mentoring this this summer um to lift my spirits i've been reading some of my favorites from uh middle school novels check Hi everyone, my name is Jeanette and I'm calling in from Bellingham, Washington in the US and I am um, the research coordinator on the public lab staff and very excited to see everything um, that you've all been doing here. And um, what have I been doing during quarantine? Also a lot of gardening and a lot of baking. Check. Hey, uh, hello everyone, I'm Govin. Uh, preferred pronouns are he, him. I'm calling from New Delhi, India. And I started my journey as a contributor to public lab projects. Now I was the mentor for this year, GSOC 2020. Yeah. To catch up during this lockdown period or quarantine, I, you know, catch up with my health with yoga and meditation and read a couple, so, couple of books. Yeah. That's it. Check. Hi everyone, I am Krisha. Uh, I put pronouns are he and him. Uh, I am a research intern and working on the spam management dashboard this year. Uh, to keep my spirit up in the community, I learned uh, how to wear a car and uh, do some uh, weight training these days. Check. Hey, Shreya. I saw that you connected and reconnected, and we'd love to get a sound check from you and also your introduction, if you'd like, now. Hello. Can you hear me? Sounds good. Hey, everyone. My name is Shreya. I'm calling in from New Delhi, India. I'm in my Future 2020 intern and I've worked on the public lab editor. During the quarantine, I started brushing up on the French and I'm learning to play the guitar these days. Other than that, my classes have started, so there's not much that I could find out time for. Yeah, that's it. Great, thanks. Hello, everyone. Mm, my name is Harman. I'm calling from New Delhi, India. So 
I'd like to pronounce myself as EM. I've been with Public Lab since last December as GCI mentor and this year since as GSOC mentor. So during this quarantine, I've been exercising a lot and I've learned how to cook. That's all. Check. Uh, hello everyone, I am Sudhita Ghosh. Uh, I am from Siliguri, India. Uh, I have been part of uh, Public Lab from September. I have been previously a GCI mentor and this time GSOC mentor. And to go through this quarantine situation, I was playing guitar. Uh, this much from my side. Check. Great, and now we'd love to go over to Shula. Okay. Um, everyone, um, I'm Rashi Shula Maikato. I'm calling you from Nigeria, in the States. And my pronouns are actually here. Uh, during the summer, I worked out on our pretty intern with Public Lab. I worked on the digital project in the um, summer. And what I've been doing to keep myself then is uh, mostly to uh, watch science fiction uh, short movies on YouTube. And uh, that's when I find the time of colleagues. Uh, that's most good. Okay. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Have I missed anyone in the round of introductions? All right, I think we're all in. So um, thanks, everyone. And um, without without warning, I'd like to also invite um, Jeff. Do you wish to say a few words about the summer before we begin the student presentations? You don't have to. Well, just I guess thanks to everyone for bringing some really incredible energy and um, productivity and. Uh, an almost shocking amount of it in a, in like the worst summer of all time. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, we're really glad to have this time with you and, uh, and yeah, um, we hope, uh, we hope you had a really good summer and we hope to hear from you, uh, more and to, to hear, you know, what you do next, which I think is, um, yeah, we all want to know what we're going to do next, but, uh, <laughs> but stay in touch. <laughs> So true. All right. Um, well, through um, generous agreement by Sneha, um, we've Sheila will be making the first presentation on her performance and accessibility project. So I'd like to hand it over to Sneha now, and I'll keep time about five minutes, and I'll let you know. Go for it. Uh, yeah, can you uh, can you see the screen? Everything looks great, and your sound is great. Yeah. So uh, my outreachy project this summer was optimizing performance, accessibility, and printability of public lab content. So the problem that we were dealing with was that uh, public lab was witnessing slow load times according to Google PageSpeed Insight, the website scored three upon hundred, and that was because we had a lot of scripts being called. Uh, on the front end side on the back end side the database had some slow queries so the server response time was uh, kind of slow uh, in terms of accessibility uh, public lab as an organization i think is a very inviting organization and uh, we wanted to make the website as accessible as possible and this involved uh, trying to expand our features in terms of alternate text uh, accessibility scans adding checkboxes uh, area elements and stuff like that uh, in terms of printability, we already had uh, some uh, uh, printability uh, in, ensured by CSS print style sheets, but uh, those were not reliable uh, because they were constantly uh, breaking. And uh, we wanted that the public lab users uh, should be able to print the documents uh, effortlessly. And uh, we wanted something new for that. So uh, I, I won't try to make this boring. 
uh, I'll just go over the methods that I followed. So some of them was like uh, replacing some of the gems, coming up with different gems that can uh, reduce the time, minification or compression wherever possible. Uh, loading only assets that are responsible in the initial uh, time, uh, initial uh, page load and uh, excluding those that are not required and a lazy loading of images. Uh, in terms of backend, uh, I, uh, I tried to remove n plus one queries as much as possible. Uh, this involved uh, replacing statements like dot length and dot count, count with dot size. And if I found any unused code in controllers, then I tried to remove them as well. In terms of accessibility, I tried to add as many form labels as possible, area elements, uh, alternative te text for static images, uh, renaming suspicious link text, uh, link text, for example, if I have click here, we can name it to something like click here to view posts, uh, checking the tab navigation and checking if the semantic structure is maintained. Uh, in terms of printability, uh, uh, after discussion with uh, Jeff, we decided to come up with a completely different uh, print route. Uh, as in uh, slash note slash print slash note ID. And uh, we also keep, keep, uh, uh, kept in mind the layout uh, that was uh, in, with help with uh, Liz, a lot of help actually, and how to uh, come up with the CSS layout for that so that all of the uh, elements, different elements are rendered properly. So I'll just go over the performance uh, quite, uh, as, as quickly as possible. So uh, first of all, we rank three and the uh, Contentful page, the first contentful fail as the first initial page load time was 8.4 seconds. And afterwards, we came down to, uh, came up to 47. And the first contentful paint went from 8.4 to 1.3 seconds. Uh, in terms of accessibility, we went from 63 to 86. And apart from that, using Wave uh, also, a lot of those elements were taken care of. In terms of accessibility, all of this, uh, uh, footer and uh, co comment sections and all of these things that were not required. Uh, I tried to remove them as much as possible. And all this improper handling of content like uh, tables, images, uh, code blocks, I tried to handle them as, as much as I could. Uh, and these are some screenshots of the printability thing that we had before. And these are the improved uh, screenshots after uh, applying those CSS, uh, up applying the CSS layout. Uh, and this is also a, a call for all of you guys. If you do get some chance, please check out this printability feature and uh, help me with the bugs so that I can improve it even better. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I had a lovely summer and uh, I, I had amazing fun working with all of you and uh, all my mentors extremely supportive going out of the way to help me uh, make the best out of the summer. Thank you. And thank you so much. That was a brilliant presentation about a fantastic summer of work. Thank you so much. You also stayed within your time bonus. Appreciation for that also. And um, now I would like to invite Shula to um, be the first of our super team of four working on the editor project to present. Um, Shula, it's all yours if you'd like it. Okay, I uh, I can make a uh, a slide documentation of a slide video. I have a video here of uh, some of my work. So I just share it. Fantastic. So if anyone is having troubles hearing Shula, she's going to share a video. So these are uh, some of the pull requests that I opened during the internship. Um, some of them flow from mail and some are still open. And going down, I'm just going to highlight some of the work that I was able to accomplish. Uh, one of them is the toolbar quickness issue. I was able to work on that. And the first situation we were able to uh, met the toolbar to stop sticking once to reach the uh, test area. But then if you have some issues, like it's uh, a bit too close before uh, the test area, 
and I think that again, a, a second pool event that you get uh, visible on plus two after the next meeting. This one was in the first meeting. Okay, I also got on the document. Um, okay, a way for you that to be able to document books you found on the editor. So uh, with the template on the button there, you guys will be able to document the book to find why you can read it. Okay, another pool request uh, was done was so that okay, adding support for class accessible and uh, so before uh, this pull request, when you test the link on the vehicle, it doesn't get um, tied as the button like we have here. But then uh, this pull request, we were able to uh, make uh, class attributes or links to have that class attribute like button so that when they get tested they come up like um, button. Oh Shula, forgive me, uh, forgive this interruption. I just wanted to let you know that we are only seeing your file folder and maybe the video is on like a different window that you're not sharing perhaps. Okay. Oh, well, the video is currently playing to my screen. I don't know if you're saying it with it. All right. Um, may I make a suggestion that you stop this screen share? Okay. And then start it again, choosing the actual um, video file now that it's open. How about that? Okay. All right. So I think it's okay. okay, we see that it's we see the little spinny wheel, but we're yeah. not seeing a video yet. Yeah, I think it's going to come up now. Great. Also the bug the the buzzing just stopped on your mic, which is great. Although perhaps means that we've lost connection. Right, so I'm just going to talk through while we are getting everything connected the way we want. I am currently only seeing Shula's file folder. Um, I'm not seeing a video. And I'm not sure if sound with Shula may have been affected. Okay, yeah, we just lost Shula. Um, and my five minute timer just when, of course, we have time to revisit Shula's presentation. But I'm wondering if we could invite um, Shreya to pick up the banner of the team of four, the edit four editor. Um, team to maybe begin sharing your presentation and then Shula can come in after that. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. And also just speaking as a moderator, I want to welcome back Shula and say that um, while you get set back up again, um, Sneha is going to jump in. Sorry, Shreya is going to, my apologies, um, Shreya is going to jump in and do um, the presentation and then hand it back to you, Shula. All right, go for it. Hello, everyone. My name is Shreya and I worked on the Public Lab Editor. The name of the project was Fortification of the Editor and Guiding Custom Insert Modules. 
so this is a brief of the work i did some of this is uh, some of the points i'm going to mention are not the major work but the process of how the internship went my work was mainly spread across three repo, uh, repos the editor repo the bookmark library on which editor is built and by the end of the internship on plot two so starting with my work on the editor the first thing i did was adding the decenter feature earlier if you center the line the text there was no way to realign it so you had to delete the whole paragraph so the first thing i did on the editor was adding the feature to realign the text once it is center aligned see how it looks now so moving on to the next thing i did it was in integrating just puppet for ui testing Just Puppeteer was a choice for your testing because it lets you simulate a keyboard press and mouse click. And for this, I mainly used Keshav's work on image sequencer to see how this is done. Encountered a lot of errors, but this is also the issue which made me learn the most about how to deal with errors. Moving on, I then defined some basic tests for the functionalities, which included bold command, italic command, and also the test. for the decenter feature that i introduced then since we had newly integrated this uh, we were using version 25 which was not supported by uh, node we had to update to version 26 but it did not support node version 8 so updated it to 10 and 12 then version 2.1.0 was released this was the first release as a as the, from the editor team so i was lucky enough to get the chance to compile the release notes and make the corresponding pr for the same then uh, the editors newly new version 2.1.0 did not pass the test on the plot to repo we started looking back at the work we did and finding out what might have gone wrong which included this Uh, we had added puppet here es link link stage has can dependency rather than the dependency so i made the corresponding pi to shift them as test dependency last work i did on editor was the compact design for main image module it now introduces a few changes in the ui which include the remove button was earlier visible at all times now you can only see it after you have added a file and if you remove the file then the file name also disappears Also, the buttons are rearranged in mobile view for a more compact design. See how it looks now. And this is the mobile view now. Moving on to the work I did on Bookmark. Bookmark is a library on which public lab, uh, lab editor is based. But it is not uh, no longer actively maintained and had a lot of bugs. The first PR uh, I made here was for changing heading back into plain text. Earlier, if you made a text into a heading, you can only switch back, uh, switch between the different headings. So this work was to uh, so now you can shift between the different headings and just change it back to plain text too. See how it looks. Then replacing uh, Uglyfied JS with Cursor. Bookmark earlier used Uglyfied JS, which is a minifier. It compresses the JavaScript code, but Uglyfied JS only supports till ES5. So to extend support to ES6, we had to replace Uglyfied JS with the Cursor. And there were a lot. We were encountering a lot of errors in building the project. So after uh, after integrating Cursor, I encountered cross dependency errors. updated js and clean css styles for the same also dealt with the errors and tests we were getting while running npm run build and updated the new new build and last was heading test so for the uh, sunamite worked on integrating test puppeteer and bookmark as well so we can ensure that no new feature that we introduce breaks any existing code so once we did that i added the heading test for the new uh, Feature we added to convert heading back into plain text. Then plot two, a minor PR was for the main uh, corresponding changes to the plot two repo that we made to the 
editor repo and lastly was adding image button to wiki editor so by the end of the internship out of the proposed changes by the community two of them were using legacy and comment toolbar and adding image to wiki adding image button to the wiki editor toolbar so this is what the new toolbar looks like now it is completed by ts to be reviewed in miles and this is how it works So this was a brief of the work I did during the internship. It was an amazing experience to say the least. A big thank you to the mentors, the community members, to the editor team, Peha, Alex, and Kesha. It was amazing working with you all, and I learned a lot from you. Thank you. And thank you. This is incredible, Shreya. I mean, your presentation just showed how many total systems that you touched. I uh, really really appreciate it um i'd love to invite shula back to sharing the video which we missed the opportunity to see just before that um shula um we'd love to to witness your screen sharing again if you'd like to start us up start us off with it Okay. Yes, we're seeing an MP4 file. Exciting. Thank you. Okay, so uh, in the video, I was showing the number of um, uh, tools right, that that shown doing my internship, some clothes, some mesh, and some still open. And also, I'm also going to be highlighting on some of the work. Hey, Shola, can you hear me? I think. We may have lost Shula's audio, and I'm not sure about the video because it's no longer moving. Let's just give it a minute. Oh, Shula just dropped again. I really want to see this video. <laughs> I wonder, um, I wonder if it's not a large video, if Shula could upload it and someone else could play it. Um, I can try to coordinate that in the background. That would be great, Jeff. And in fact, Shula's just come back on. So I'm wondering if you and Shula can work on that. And um, Sorry, I let's see. My network went back for a while. Hey, yeah, thanks, Shula. Um, we, we are now completely on. Uh, so excited to see this video <laughs> that has been queued up. And um, I, can you and Jeff coordinate maybe uploading the video somewhere? And we're going to go to hear some more presentations and then come back once the video is online somewhere. Okay, I think that's a look. I okay, great, great. So you and Jeff go hang out. And um, I guess. Um, Looking at the rest of the editor team, I don't see that we have Nitin or Keshav234156. Um, so unless someone tells me that I'm wrong, I think it's time for us to go over to Keshav Seti. Okay, so um, now we're going to go over to Keshav Seti, 
whose work on the spam management dashboard um, has, has opened up a whole other huge project area for public lab. And Keshav, I'd like to hand it over to you at this time. Can I present now? Yes, please do. Is it visible? It looks great, and you sound great. So uh, I was working on SMAP, spam management dashboard. Uh, so this is how it looks. This is the final moderation page, the main moderation page, where all the spam and unmoderated and published posts comes. This is something about me. So this I'm Kesha and. So uh, spam management is one of the most crucial feature of this organization so, uh, to make the users be reliable, interesting, and informative. So it is very necessary. Uh, so for the ease of uh, spam moderation and for the ease of moderators and admins, this uh, spam, new spam management dashboard is introduced. So my major task was to redesign the UI and add features like bulk moderation, flag, queue, uh, insights, and fil some filters. So. I have made a proposal and planning issue. You can go through it if you want. So uh, this is the main moderation page where all the spam and uh, unmoderated posts are sorted according to their updated times. So in the new activity filter, you can find all the uh, um, uh, spam and unmoderated filter based on their updation, updation time. And in the recent, it comes in the order of uh, the creation time. You can find the creation time and updated time here. And this is the author name. And uh, uh, this number uh, defines the number of notes that author has already made. So if uh, it is spam, then we can see how many, uh, what is the reputation and all. So this is the title. You can click on it, and then the model appears here with the title tag and the content of this post. And uh, here, uh, a moderator or admin can find uh, uh, stats here, like this is the how many uh, unmoderated posts are here, and this is the number of flag posts. And the stats for uh, total number of spam uh, nodes are here. And uh, uh, moderator can also change the nodes per page, and uh, uh, and can search in the single page, and then can sort here. Uh, this is the menu, which uh, has like insights, moderation, wiki queue, uh, revision comments, flag, and user moderation. We will go through it one by one. So first of all, bulk moderation features, uh, which you can see in this slide. So here, uh, on select. Initially, all the buttons are, all the buttons here are, are disabled because none, uh, none of the item is selected. So uh, whenever I select, so all the nodes in single page will get selected, and then user can use the bulk moderation feature to uh, like publish all the nodes and then spam all the nodes, all the selected nodes. Uh, uh, moderator can delete nodes ban and unban users. And this uh, doc button will uh, redirect the moderator to the uh, documentation of the spam management dashboard, where uh, they can find all the features and all. Uh, on clicking the uh, publish post, this will only publish this node. And uh, this will uh, create a pop-up here, where uh, it shows like this node is published or spammed or un un user is unban. And all the nodes are disabled and uh, like they are uh, active as per their status, like this is spam, so only pub, uh, moderator can publish this node. So this is all about the uh, bulk moderation uh, features. Uh, publishing will uh, unman and uh, publish the node, and then uh, spam will uh, spam the node, and then also uh, ban the user, as well as it will also unflag the node. So. so these are the filters, which I've explained earlier. So as the name already. Uh, uh, specify this is the this is this will display all the published notes unmoderated notes spam recent and new activity so uh, in the wiki and the revision uh, the page looks a bit similar to this so there is nothing much in this 
the revision will only show the revision and wiki will also only show the published wiki uh, uh, a flag is the main feature uh, here an, any normal user can uh, flag a node and uh, 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 the user doesn't need to uh, get login because uh, uh, whenever he sees the node and there is a flag button and then he can flag the node so all the flag nodes come in this page so and uh, moderator can unflag spam and this and this is sorted by the number of flags suppose it gets 10 flags or like 20 so it will go on the top and the flag filter will sh only show the like all the flag uh, nodes and then spam <clears throat> will filter uh, all the nodes which are spammed and they are flagged as well <clears throat> and then uh, there's a, uh, uh, like all the unmoderated nodes which are flagged then it will show then page and notes page will define the uh, wiki and notes will define all the notes uh, there are all the features of uh, bulk moderation also present here and the stats are there and this will show the the count and then everything looks similar uh, the here there's a feature to unflag the node uh, and if they and, and if the moderator wants to uh, bulk unflag the nodes then and then they can just uh, make it publish or spam it so even the published node can be published uh, to just to make them unflagged so how the user can uh, flag a node so there is a flag button uh, with, on the dashboard with every node uh, and even on the toolbox uh, uh, in the main page of the node there, there we can also flag so now the next feature is queue so in this section all the nodes uh, with the tags that the moderator is currently following the current login moderator like suppose i am logging into the page and i am moderating the stuff and then uh, all the nodes which i am following only those uh, unmoderated and spam node will come into this page and uh, moderating can add or remove tags with the plus icon which is present here i will show the image and uh, we can also filter nodes based on tags and the tags get highlighted and we can you know this is the page uh, here all the tags which i am following i can just see the nodes like this is the node this is based on some of the like it is following some tags and then these sort and here i can uh, like filter out tag filter out uh, nodes based on tags and uh, this is how like spectrometer and all the nodes based on which have this tag will come here and i can just see like this is now here this icon uh, represents spam and this represent uh, unmoderated and then tick sign like this here represent uh, published and all the buttons are uh, like disabled or active based on the status and then we can just switch to any other uh, like tag just on clicking and all the tags filter will just uh, uh, remove all the filters and then show all the notes based on the tags uh, and one more thing this selected uh, count will just show the how many nodes which we have selected and then we can just uh, figure out how many we can just check how many the next page is user user moderation in the user moderation uh, uh, the, uh, this is the active users you can see how many active users are there then how many users are banned moderators admins we can find like a list of all the users and in the post section and post column we can see uh, the 43 and 1 uh, this 43 represent how many uh, nodes uh, admin has published or whoever the user is and flagged how many uh, nodes of that user is flagged by how many times we can see this and then this is the date on which uh, uh, this user has uh, logged in or uh, like registered and all those things are uh, understandable uh, uh, ban and unban are the bulk moderation feature where you can just click on the users and then ban a uh, uh, number of uh, users now there is a comment moderation in the comment moderation section of the spam management dashboard it contains all the uh, spammed, unmoderated, and flag no flag comments. Uh, so, so this page looks similar. Uh, here, uh, it has all the nodes which are flagged, spammed, and unmoderated. Uh, you can filter it out with these sections. Like all the flag nodes will come here, all the unmoderated, and then spammed. And, and the new activity will show all of these sorted by the uh, updated times or creation time. Uh, here, it is creation time. Now, uh, here this uh, uh, bulk moderation feature 
here we can select all the nodes of the single page or we can select one by one and then publish these comments these comments are the, the things which are going to publish so this represent unmoderation and then this is spam uh, this represent how many times this uh, comment is flagged by some user and according to this these buttons will come and these are the filters and we can change this thing so how a user can flag a node so uh, with every comment there is a flag uh, button where user can flag there is no need to uh, get login even a uh, new user can just come and flag the node or a comment in the inside section uh, all the unmoderated spammed and flagged and published nodes and comments that uh, are present here you can see like here uh, in this section we can see all the unmoderated nodes which are present right now spam nodes which are there and the flagged and this, this is just the dummy data so this is not a true data so and these are the uh, graph like on this state how many uh, nodes we have spammed or like marked as spammed or how many nodes which are unmoderated on this date and they are still unmoderated or they are flagged and they are still flagged so all the graph data you can see uh, on the with the real data as well uh, this shows uh, the trending tags which are followed by moderators and admin this number defines how many moderators are and admins are already following this tag let's suppose the five only one moderator slash admin is following there is no meaning of uh, normal user here so this just this is just to define like this is the trending tag among moderators so like five moderators are following single tag so they can just divide their work and then uh, like do the task in the queue section which i have explained earlier here now the next part is digest so here we can where moderator can subscribe for daily and weekly digest uh, based on their wish uh they can enable their digest notification in the settings page notification settings page which is present on the menu or the top uh they can just uh, choose either uh, weekly or daily digest so this is how it looks on the mobile phone uh title name date and then some com content and then they can approve or mark this node as a spam from the mail itself now this this design is fully responsive uh and uh, uh, moderator can just scroll to the table or they can scroll through this nav as well everything is responsive here so at last i want to thank all the members of public lab and my mentors for their continuous support and suggestions and thank you thank you so much thank kashav you. this is a huge um contribution to the architecture of the public lab website and i really really um appreciate this incredible extensive project um i would love to hear from the shula jeff team um to make sure we do hear um from this last project and then um and then so that we can have one more round in this before we wrap up this call to really hear from everyone um staff former staff mentors included about you know something they're taking with them um out of this summer um as well as any q and a's on each other's incredible work um but yes so jeff and shula how did you do with the video uploading I, I believe Shula is still uploading it. Is that right? Yeah, um, I'm just trying to upload it on YouTube. I, I think it's going to be up in a few seconds. Okay, great. Sure. Um, and yeah, in terms of, so I did a lot of posting and inviting and emailing and calendaring with everyone's personal emails and public GitHub handles. And it seems like some fellows were not able to attend today, including Alex to Jeff's question. Um, well, perhaps we could begin our closing round, not closing, but like our, our main discussion round while Shula's uploading. Um, 
and basically I'm going to open up the floor to um, everyone to go in that same order that I had um, for the introductions and let me grab that. Um, yeah, so um, although let me let me change this order a little bit so that Jeff and Sidharth and Sagarpreet may oh and Emily. And then Neha. Yes. All right, so I've just put another order in the chat and I'm kind of wanting to welcome um, um, some of the support team to comment um, first, um, but everyone will have a chance to speak in this round. I would just love to hear something, you know, something meaningful that happened to you in the course of this collaborative work that we undertook this summer or something that really touched you or, um, you know, as I, you know, something that you really treasure. Um, and I'd like to welcome Jeff, then Siddharth, then Sagarpreet, then Emily, um, as I listed in the Zoom chat. Okay, over to you. Well, I guess um, each summer we try to learn a bit from the previous summer and think about how to improve our processes. And this summer we had three folks um, working relatively independently and four folks working as a team. And I think both did really well. Um, I really appreciated the teamwork on the editor uh, project um, where a really big project got broken into many, many pieces and sorted out and different people sort of explored different parts of the project, different skill sets. Um, in a, in a level of coordination we really hadn't seen before. And I also um, appreciated how the folks who work independently put in a lot of extra time to build a team themselves. Uh, so I know that many of the, um, the new contributors we've gotten in the past three months were brought in through first timer only issues created by our fellows this summer and at a, at a really uh, impressive rate. Uh, sometimes even hard to keep up with, as I'm sure Seth will, will uh, well, maybe Seth is on top of everything. And that's, that's cool too. Uh, but I, I was often scrambling to catch up um, to make sure everyone, you know, knew where they were, where they were going and such. And seeing that level of energy and mutual support is just really energizing. So thanks to everyone for all of it. Uh, Siddharth uh, was, I think, had to leave due to a bad connection. So maybe we would go to Sagarpreet next. Yeah, hi. Uh, so I was mainly uh, working with editor team Monday. So uh, the the teamwork was amazing, and the and all the things that they have made during the summer, everything is unit tested. So all the uh, uh, functional tests, unit tests, everything is there. So it's, I think it's, it's a great deal. They have done fantastic work. And also the first timer uh, issues, I think uh, 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 many new contributors came in because of the FPO issues they made. So I think it was a lovely experience for me. And personally, I run many things myself, like uh, in the Woofmark repository, so that is one of the repo I haven't contributed uh, much, but uh, I think Jeff and Jeff has maintained that repo himself. He has forked out and he's, he's maintaining all by himself and the new contributors and uh, editor team also contributed to that repo and uh, which, is, which is very amazing. So thank you for having me uh, and check. Great, thank you. And I'm going to jump in right before um, Emily goes to share. I will screen share Sess's video and then, sorry, um, Shula's video. I'm sorry, I'm having a, I am not all here today. Uh, 
sincere apologies. Um, let me get this going and I'm going to share this model. Great. So um, let me restart this video. Great, and just checking, can you all see that I'm sharing Shula's video? Yes, it looks great. Okay, thank you, Shula, and also Jeff. Okay, so in the video, I was showing a highlight of some of the pull requests on the close during the internship. I mentioned that some were closed, some were made, and some are still open. I, I'm going to talk about a few of them that uh, were shown. Uh, one of them that I worked on was on fixing the two bar between the two shoes. We saw that we were the uh, two bar on the digital visual six in the wrong places that it flows outside the, the digital set body area. But then after the two requests was made, um, the digital stopped floating outside the set area, but then had a little problem. It starts floating before the um, test, uh, test area on the school, but not on the uh, editor report itself. But then I think that in a different program, it should be available in the next one of the editor. I also worked on um, a work notebook that would allow users to document both to find one using the editor. That's why you see this button there. And okay, uh, the button takes the user to a template. Yeah, they get to uh, the uh, Back to the two requests. Another one that I got to work on was an added support for uh, class attributes in link. Okay, uh, this allowed for to be able to set link as you can see from the video, the um, GIS that will be shown here. Before then, if you press um, link on the digital, uh, it doesn't get tied as a button as you see here. But then with this tool set, we are able to um, add a button when uh, the person is in the system. That's uh, So you have to uh, fix the gap by just um, um, back to the tool set. I also work on the front for the video here. Okay, on section of just to set there for you, I can from this mark with the video. After we were able to write a couple of tests here. I wrote some tests on given the front end. We also work on fixing. Um, the issue where both or uh, italicized test lose formatting after the from that test from math and from root to math. Okay, I think uh, on the digital, when you type uh, test from both, using both, yes, yeah, and um, switch to math down and back again to root. It loses from mapping, like instead of um, using the both test, you see, um, uh, like you see it being uh, as much down instead of um, with both test. I think that's what the video is in the second here. Okay, since that um, particular piece is not yet live on public cloud. So, so I illustrated the piece using the WOOCMAP um, example uh, website. So here I'm um, typing something in both. Going to move uh, things to my down and back to it again. And we see that it didn't get, um, the format was actually intact after um, coming back to it. Uh, Yeah, that's the test set. Okay, mark down. When you move back to the, the still intact, you then lose 
हैं आप समझ रहे हैं क्या And apart from the menacing risks, uh, there were a number of issues uh, with the third party license, the smart solution uh, that uh, the digital was put on and weren't able to fix. Okay, in the video, I'm um, pointing at the um, full refresh where we say, where we, um, okay, I just said open the outside to going to be able to show track image. Um, the um, the very next post is going to be received before fresh and before and so we are at the top of the school right? you see okay. yeah. That's good, huh? well okay I think this video is actually over so then now I'm trying to talk about some of the Okay. Okay. Sorry, I, I was just to... I was late in stopping the video, um, but that was brilliant, Shula. Um, do you want to keep talking through your project even though the video stopped? Okay. Yeah. I think so. I was going to talk about some of uh, the documents that we could take during the entirety. Some of them uh, on bookmarks that we weren't able to see. So then uh, we were able to do uh, a lot of in-depth um, testing and uh, picking up uh, where the bugs could be coming from. I was able to find out most of the bugs were actually brought up specific. We explored most of those things in Google or phone, Google phone, but not for fire phone. Um, those were the uh, browsers that we were able to test for. And uh, we're yet to add Okay, uh, the other test for some of those issues are not the others. So apart from the bus cases, we were able to document some of uh, the uh, bus that we were not able to be doing the intensive. And I think that why um, we stick around and have others who are interested in working on the digital project, we will be able to pull up work more to find issues for those bus that we were not able to be so overall, I'm very happy about um, the summer internship with the awesome um, team. I think that the awesome producer team of us. Uh, actually, I think we'll let the great team during the internship and uh, also very good for the mentorship we have to get. Um, even though, apart from amendments that's worrying, uh, I have to start up with, yeah, I decided to start get that from our future very well. Yeah, coming around to help on this project would be very interesting for the help. Great, right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And now I'm just setting up a new, I'm going to return to our round of reflections um, from the summer. And I'm just reordering it a little bit so people who are in the order before, hang on. Um, I'm just adjusting it so that um, we, can, we can hear from um, the mentors a little bit earlier in the order. So and then and then finally back to um, the students um, moment okay so this order is meant to go to people who are part of mentoring the program and then to our guest public lab staff from a different group which is Jeanette and then back to the students for their own reflection and so um, I'm hitting enter. And so back over to Emily, then Sess, then Harmon. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, so the prompt was what moment you treasure, what you really enjoyed working, and something surprised you. So. It's awesome to see these presentations because I haven't been watching for like a month. And so it's like, 
uh, fast forward in time. Like it's like time warp. Um, <laughs> so it's really awesome. I particularly enjoyed the accessibility and performance stats. It was fun scoping that project because it's one of the first things I like to do when I join a new project because you get all these these wins and you can improve things and you can see how a code has changed over time and then just kind of tweak it and be like, ah, we got it. Um, so that's really rewarding to see. I love how we can measure that improvement of like it went from eight seconds to one second. That's awesome. Um, what surprised me over the summer, honestly, I'm a little surprised by the changes going on all around us um, and how that affects everyone's ability to focus and work and think and do creative thought. So I'm double impressed that all of these different pieces of Public Lab were able to be touched on and worked on over the summer because that really surprised me personally how much it can be distracting and affect you. Um, so thanks everyone for every piece of effort you put into this. Great, thank you so much, Emily. And now I'd like to welcome Sess in. Okay, thank you. Uh, I treasured all the discussions that were happening in the planning issues and also the specific issues. Really informative. Uh, really loved that people came in and broke. We created a lot of F2Os from your project. That was really awesome. And I learned a lot from you in terms. Uh, this was a great lot. Uh, what surprised me is how much everyone was able to do during this specific time, a short period, uh, you all accomplished a lot. Uh, very, really great job. Uh, yeah, that's all for me. Great, thank you so much, Sess. And over to, well, we may not have Harmon with us this moment, so over to Govind. Yeah, so, uh, hi, so, this was my first time experience being a part of some of the program so I myself learned a lot of things and it was great to see the you know I was all, all motivated by the team motivation and enthusiasm on the editor project and yeah that's it great thank you so much um and Sue Dipto hello can you hear okay so so this was the first time i mentored so i had to i mentored keshav he did a great work uh, and apart from that i also saw some of the first contributors coming and reviewed their code so that was the good part and looking forward to contribute more to this community thanks great thank you so much and welcome our guest from another corner of public lab jeanette yeah, thanks everyone for letting me listen in and hear about all the work you've been doing. I was just blown away by the amount of amazing work that got done in a short period of time. And so thank you so much for everything and um, keeping things running so that people like me who are using the website just kind of are able to work seamlessly and really appreciative of all that work. Thanks. Check. Great. And now I'd like to go back to the students and fellows themselves for, um, you know, any any reflective thoughts they'd like to share. Oh, wait, hold on. Harmon is back. So I want to get the mentor first. <clears throat> Great. Hey, Harmon. Welcome back. Hey, Harmon. Welcome back. And um, actually, um, if you don't mind, uh, we were just hoping to hear from from you and your role as a mentor about something um, that you treasure from the summer or that surprised you about this summer. Just some reflections to share with the group. Hello, are you able to hear me? Yeah, you sound great. Okay. So the summer was great. I was mostly involved with Keshav. So and uh, during the uh, during the first two evaluations i was mostly involved in the last one i actually was not able to pay attention to what was going on because of my examinations that were going on we had our examinations postponed so that's the reason i was not able to you know have an idea what was going on during the last eval nothing to add more 
Okay, great. Yeah, thanks for being here, Harmon. And now I wanna go to Sneha. Uh, the summer was uh, pretty amazing. Apart from the obvious uh, different ways that the mentors helped us to grow. Uh, and particularly, I, I could like, uh, I, I could always see that our mentors uh, trusted us a lot with uh, working on something like, even if uh, they weren't sure if we could be able to do it, but I always found that they trusted us enough to integrate those changes. And uh, that's a huge thing I feel uh, because it really builds your confidence as a coder. And uh, another thing that I always liked was that our mentors um, tried, uh, tried to uh, ask us uh, like, uh, if, uh, like if there's some other issues uh, that is unrelated to our project and that was a great learning opportunity because um, I, I could feel like my skill set was uh, like uh, expanding because of uh, working on some other issues as well and uh, the third thing is pretty much the community here it's 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 so welcoming I, I literally feel the warmth because um, I, I I don't feel like uh, this is limited to just our mentors. I could feel everyone coming together, helping me reviewing my pull request, uh, be it the community members, be it people like uh, from previous internships, like a year back or so, and we are just coming in to help. And I think this is pretty much because uh, the great uh, experience that they have when they onboard to public lab uh, with all the first time issues that we create and uh, the little encouraging notes that you just, uh, uh, just post there and that actually makes a lot of difference I feel uh, and that is why people really really uh, want to work with public lab they really pumped up to work with public lab and uh, I would like I would, I would try my best to continue my uh, uh, engagement with public lab as much as possible and uh, yeah that's that's all from, from my side thank you so much for sharing those words um, Let's go over to Keshav next. Hi. Uh, this summer was amazing and uh, all the mentors were so helpful. Uh, they came out to me like uh, with each and every PR. Like, uh, I get like uh, uh, 25 to 30 uh, suggestions like how to uh, like uh, rebuild this, how to take uh, like change the UI and all. Uh, all the mentors says Sudipto, Jeff, everyone was so helpful. Uh, even uh, those who are not my mentor, they are just the community uh, people. They uh, came out and then they uh, uh, helped me with each and every peer, uh, thanks to them. Uh, it is because of only their help, uh, I was able to uh, complete my uh, project. Uh, that's all. Thanks. Thank you so much. And Shreya? Hey, everyone. It was, uh, this was the first time contributing to any open source project and it was a great experience throughout. Uh, at times I had some really difficult problems like we were under complete lockdown and the laptop stopped working. I had to shift to another device and I faced a lot of problems were the same but the mentors were so supportive throughout. So it always gave a boost to perform more to just be sincere with your work when you have people backing you up and it was a great experience. Thank you to everyone contributed who helped us for being so patient when we were unable to understand something thank you oh, thank you so much and shula okay i i must say i enjoyed um the summer of public club it was actually my first time ever ever working on an working with people who work on projects I've never had such experience before. I was still um, ready to uh, learn to work with uh, GitHub and do some really good stuff for GitHub. So I got a separate to work with Public Lab. So I got my account with Public Lab. And I'm also very um, happy and uh, a bit surprised at uh, the way uh, folks at Public Lab try to communicate behind to everybody of everybody else and uh, have the reason that we need to communicate with every single person. Uh, I think everybody tries to put an effort 
bless your community, keep you for forever, and I appreciate that the most of us, all of us. That's it. Is it? Okay. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Shula. <clears throat> um, it was, wow, thank you everyone um, for, for sharing these reflections. Um, this has been a real bright spot in a crazy year. And I hope um, that you can take some of this love and support and spread it just a little bit more widely because this world needs it. And at this time, I'd like to invite everyone to unmute and say hi and bye and send each other off. And like, so hi from New York City. Um, I think we cross paths again on the internet. Hi everyone. Yeah. Hi everyone. Yeah. Bye. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Bye. 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 Hi bye. Hi everyone. Hi and bye. <laughs> Hi and bye. Hi and bye. Bye everyone and thank you for a great summer. Yeah. Bye bye. 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 Thanks for a great summer. <laughs>